Hello, this is Seamus in 7MYW. I've been playing with APRS a little bit more lately. I've always had a fascination for it and the, uh, the, the system that it is, the automatic packet reporting system. Um, it, it definitely has its wonderful uses. It allows us to stay in contact with each other uh, via uh, signals sent out across the airwaves. And you know, as ham operators, we've used it for positioning uh, services to show where we're at, um, sending out weather signals, showing out our weather stations, showing the, the temperature and all the stats uh, for, for just locating beacons to see where people are or to send back to our loved ones where we're at. Um, but I never really until recently realized how much messaging that can be done on these things. Just, it's just amazing. And a lot of the radios today uh, are be now becoming equipped with APRS and with the GPSs. Uh, here I have the Kenwood D74, and then I also have uh, this absolutely delightful uh, Yaesu FT3DR. And I know they have a newer model, the FT5, which is just as good. has a lot of the same features, and uh, I never upgraded because I didn't feel a need to. It didn't have anything extra that I needed. So, love the FT3. Great radio. Um, absolutely wonderful handhelds, both of them. They both will do APRS, have built-in GPSs, which lock on to signals pretty quick. But to be able to send a message, no matter where you're at, uh, if you're out of cell range, and to be able to send a message to not only an email address, but to a cell phone, uh, cell phone number, that, that's absolutely priceless. Especially if you're up hiking, if you're up, uh, up in the mountains and can't reach a cell signal, which has a, a very slight amount of power of wattage going out of a handheld, to being able to use up to 5 watts or even more with these... That, that increases your uh, ability to send messages easily out of remote areas. So, wonderful, wonderful option. Uh, now, both of these radios uh, are, are very similar when it comes to sending out a message uh, via APRS, and usually that will go through an SMS uh, gateway, uh, SMS GTE, or uh, they'll go through a Digipeter. And you can find which one will works for you, but if you type in S SMS GTE, that'll get you there as well. So the first one we're going to look at is the Yesu. Now it's really simple to be able to do this and I want to try to do this to where that you can see on the camera here how uh, how easily this works. Um, let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. There we go. So in order to facilitate sending a message you just hit the FMW key Go over to where your message list is. And this is where I go. I mean, you can go to various other parts. But here's, you have up to 60 messages you can send. And you can go through and delete them. Once you're in here and you find an empty spot, I just hit the six little boxes. Go over to Message Edit. Click the six boxes and do Edit Call Sign. Here you're going to do S M. S G T E and then hit back okay that's in there now hit edit text and here is where you're going to put in your at always do the at first for for a phone number and then with this you just do the phone number so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone number on here and um, let's see here I'll just have to uh, push that out later. Put space, and then you can put whatever else you want to, whether it says text or whatever it is that you want to put. Um, so I'm going to put text, space. Now we do backspace, and then we hit, now this one I've got on the handheld here, so I'll put up the antenna, M text, and that transmits. Now the reason I know that went through is because my D74 <laughs> popped up showing I'd sent it and then it went. So that is, that's all you do and then when it comes back through you will see a message pop up on your screen saying that there's a message. You can go in and read that message or make sure that it got to its destination. And the person on the other end with their cell phone all they need to do is to reply to it and it goes through that gateway. So that radio is pretty simple in order, in order to send an SMS message. D74, actually I think it's it's almost easier. 
uh, in some ways. Now, granted, the SMS uh, or the, uh, the the screen is not a touch screen here, so I don't need to have uh, the, the little pointer there. But for this one, very similar. Although on the D74, all you need to do is to do F4, which is a new message. It's going to show you the screen here that says two. Let's see if I can go in a little bit closer and show. There we go. That's easier. Hit the enter button in the middle and then type in your destination. So here again we do the same thing. We're going to do, whoops, need to change that. Uh, let's see. Are we, there we go. Whoops, we want to back. Clear, clear. There we go. So S M S G T E enter tab down with the down arrow button hit message text now here you do your your uh, phone number again I don't mind the world seeing my phone number And once you are all done typing that in, it's a little more cumbersome than I think some people are used to. With their cell phones, they're so spoiled. It's so easy to do. And uh, here again, then you can just type in whatever it is that you want, test text, etc. Hit the enter button. And once you're done, there's this little, little cursor right here, or this, excuse me, this little box that says send. Hit send. And as you can see, that went through and it comes up and shows a box that says message sent. And it shows your path, which shows the gateway right there. And eventually you'll get a message back. So if I go to my cell phone, all I need to do is to go over to uh, here. Let's see if I can pull it up. And it comes through. So... That is how simple it is. And then the person that's on the other end can send one back. It's simple. It really is not difficult. It's, it's, a, it's a cool feature uh, on these radios. And I'm pretty impressed by our technology and how we're able to make these things work. And, I, and I'm sure that uh, uh, there's a ton of people out there who have been watching these videos for uh, quite a few years. I guess I'm late to the game in a lot of this. But ham radio has so much... Uh, so much in there that you can do and so many different aspects of the hobby that you, you never get it all. I mean, and, and, and you spend all the time learning about it and then something new comes along. So that's great. APRS on on uh, ham radio. This is on VHF. Uh, I'm sure that they can also do UHF and for there's various bands you can do these things on. And as the radios get more and more uh, technologically advanced, we're going to have more of this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for letting me share this. I wanted to show how, how this is working for me here. And, uh, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed this video, well, hit that, uh, hit that thumbs up. I, I'm not a big fan of thumbs up. I don't like the thumbs on Facebook or, or YouTube, but we need them. I guess they're a necessity. I'm just going to have to put up with it. So hit the thumbs up. And if you do enjoy the channel, uh, subscribe. And uh, hit the notifications bell icon if you want to know when new videos come up. So let me know what you think of this and uh, you, what you've been doing with APRS and how it works for you. On that note, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Seamus in 7MYW saying 73.